The final 53-man roster has been cut for the San Francisco 49ers, and today we have seen players added to the practice squad. So we're going to get into who's back with the team. There's still more signings coming in, and we're going to talk and discuss about everything that has happened thus far and discuss who's coming back to the practice squad. <laughs> Smash that like button if you haven't already. Love to see it. Let's go, squad. Welcome in. We are going to talk about the 49ers players that have been added back to the practice squad today uh we've also had 49ers players get claimed by other teams we're going to get into that and the 49ers as well have also claimed a player for themselves and we're going to get right into that the 49ers were able to claim Blake Hans offensive lineman from the Browns he has some extensive starting time with the Browns he started eight games last year similar statistics to Daniel Brunskill, uh, if you wanted to go look at that in regards to pressures given up and things like that. Uh, he is going to take up a spot on the active roster, so it is going to be interesting to see who is let go in place of Blake Hans and his addition to the 49ers. So we're going to see what ultimately comes of that. Speaking of other players that were claimed, Jamichael Hasty was added to the Jaguars roster. He is now in Jacksonville and will not be returning as a member of the 49ers. He is now on the active roster for the Jacksonville Jags. Also, another player, a bit of a surprise to see get claimed is former six-round draft pick out of Penn State. Tariq Castro-Fields finds himself on the Washington Commanders active roster. So, there were two players of the 49ers that uh, were released or waived and got claimed by other teams, and these are the two of them. There are some additional moves in regards to who's back on the practice squad. We have, uh, I would call him a standout. I think he did enough last year to prove he's, or not last year, last training camp, this training camp, to prove that he did a pretty darn good job. Quantrez Knight. Former cornerback out of UCLA. He will find himself on the 49ers practice squad. He is a promising player. I would not be shocked to see Quantrez Knight get some playing time in 2022 with the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, this one I particularly like quite a bit. Tay Martin added to the 49ers practice squad. He is an ascending asset in my opinion. He's going to be a guy that will do and be served well from developing on the practice squad. I think he has great length as a wide receiver, great explosion ability. He's really good at high-pointing and contested catches. He He's a really good receiver. I think he just didn't get a whole lot of opportunities in training camp, and I think this is a great opportunity for him to potentially develop into a guy that the 49ers could potentially count on. They also bring back a veteran wide receiver, that it will be Willie Sneed to the practice squad here for the 49ers. He was a late addition in training camp, so no surprise to see Willie Sneed come back around on the practice squad. We also got another veteran uh, and a guy who's made a lot of starts in this league. Safety to Sean Gibson will find his way back onto the 49ers practice squad, and he could see some time we already know jimmy ward will be heading to the short-term ir for at least four games so maybe to sean gibson is the one that's relied upon we will find out but the sean gibson has signed and will be on the 49ers practice squad another undrafted free agent standout from this offseason marcelino mccrary ball has signed with the 49ers practice squad, he will be back. He could be relied on this year as well, especially in a special teams capacity. Uh, we saw, especially in the preseason game against the Packers, he came away with that interception. 
Uh, he's a good player. He moves around. He flies to the ball. Really good instinctual player. I think he is liked within this locker room. He is going to be a good addition to the practice squad and another guy who can continue to develop. Uh, the 49ers have a very good developmental system. They put a lot of effort into developing these players. I think that's why we've seen so many undrafted players become successful. But the one that everyone was waiting to see, will Jason Poe clear waivers and make it back around to the practice squad? Ladies and gentlemen, he did just that. Jason Poe has been signed to the 49ers practice squad, and I know a lot of people are happy about that, myself included. Jason Poe clearly was a big-time riser during training camp and preseason. He started with the third team, made his way all the way up to the second team, and as we heard, he was even splitting reps with Aaron Banks at left guard. So Jason Poe, could have been a potential 53-man roster signee, but he comes back around on the practice squad. Good move for the 49ers. And again, another guy that you can continue to develop in the system, and they know he will give them good work on scout team. This is a clip of San Francisco 49ers' new offensive lineman getting acclimated with a Bosa brother. This is... Uh, Joey Bosa getting put on the ground a little bit by Blake Hance. Again, he's played tackle. Looks like he could play guard as well. But uh, Blake Hance uh, getting acclimated with one of the Bosa brothers and putting him on the turf. This was, uh, I believe, this year. Or no, last year. Excuse me. And then the 49ers also added Taylor Hawkins, safety uh, undrafted free agent out of San Diego State. I really like Taylor Hawkins. I think this is going to be a guy who could be another developmental player in this system. Really like what I've seen from Taylor Hawkins throughout training camp. I do believe he could be a guy that the 49ers rely on in the coming years. We'll, we will continue to see. But the 49ers are not done. They will continue to add pieces throughout the day. Again, the 49ers need to get to 16 total practice squad players. Also, we need to figure out who isn't going to make the roster in place for Blake Hance, who was claimed via waivers from the Browns. So there is still plenty more news to come and still time to build out that practice squad. So far, it's looking good. We really like what we're seeing. From the 49ers practice squad, got a lot of the young players that we wanted to see back, got some veterans as well. So overall, a good start to building out the practice squad. I will be back later to continue to break it all down and get into it. And for now, that is what we got. So stick around, sourdough squad. We'll be back later. Appreciate you guys. More breakdowns to come soon. <laughs> Smash that like button if you haven't already. Love to 